This is why women have to be ruled over because they don't know how to control their emotions. But I'm going to say Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor. That's due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Knowing in this gospel, bro, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is the Celeste through the Spirit. It says, these women spent $4,000 for anger management program. So I'm assuming this is probably uh, I'm not gonna say like a reality show, but I wouldn't doubt if they would make a re they wouldn't make a reality. I said I wouldn't doubt if they wouldn't make a reality show of such folly, because you have to understand we're living in a world that's being forwarded and led by women and Edomites, man. And the result of it is a bunch of emotional, out of order, overbearing, minute understanding women, man. Okay, as you see, and it's a bunch of women in like a like a, a pack of cackling hyenas just just enraged. Because for one thing, what you're witnessing is all these different spirits within these women because they've dealt with multiple men. So all this aggression that you're seeing them displaying is a result of many things. It's a result of being put in a leadership role, which they're clearly not designed to do or handle. It's the result of bad decision making. It's a result of uh, regret, fear anxiety you know it's a it's a whole it's a plethora of things and, and ultimately it's a result of them not being in their regular order because if they was in order under men <clears throat> the answer is simple let a man rule over you submit and when you find yourself in a more submissive role and you understand your nature and your ginses then you won't have these overwhelming emotions that you're displaying but also this is a bunch of different sperm specimens that's been swimming through these women because I can guarantee you each and every last one of these women had more than five partners. Okay. For I uh, guarantee you, they let somebody shoot inside them because a lot of them, they have abortions, miscarriages. A lot of them are on birth control and they let men shoot up the club inside them. And when you have those different spirits that's swimming in our JJ in our body, which is proving that the male DNA never leaves the woman's body. So every male she lays down with, she's taking on a part of that male uh, spirit. So what you're having now is a is a, a legion of demons swimming and infesting inside these women's bodies, man, including their minds. This is why women are so bugged out. This is why they can't control their emotions. Okay? So keep this. This is your beloved Edomite woman. This is the, the pinnacle. This is the so-called standard beauty of Babylon. Okay, the great daughter of Babylon, the great whore. You notice on our sign we have, she's a representation of a so-called white woman. <laughs> when John marveled out there, even though we know that's symbolic, he's talking about America being a whore because of the philosophies and the, the nature she's played with other nations. But nonetheless, the white woman is the top pinnacle of beauty in the Western nations. Okay, she's the top pinnacle of beauty. And this is what Keisha, the more woman, even the Hamite woman, all striving to be like. But yet, clearly, these women ain't got their heads wrapped on tight. Okay, they can't handle it. They can't handle truth. They can't handle pressure. Like yesterday at work, being some box head bimbo, some pronoun demon, when she was introducing herself, uh, one of my coworkers, she was like, oh, she, and then this bitch gonna say, oh, they. They, I advise they and he. I'm like, what? I'm like, did I just hear that shit? And this is the type of people that they hire, man. I'm like, that's why I, I gotta get the hell up out of here. <laughs> you 
you know, and it, it was so crazy because the the, the, the Mo that I'll be telling y'all about, that's his friend. And they don't know that we know that. But see, they can get in trouble for that because that's uh, uh, that's favoritism. So basically, he said in an interview to get this bitch hired with my supervisor and come to find out that's his friend. So we was at the meeting yesterday. So we have two teams. I'm the lead of one team and he's the lead of the other team. So we have what they call canvassing because, you know, to promote our program and shit. So everybody wanted to be on my team <laughs> and nobody really wanted to be on this team. homosexual and he thinks he's better than men you know he thinks he's a woman and shit like that but he walks around like he's just the prince of egypt because these black women that run these institutions and that's hr they give these men like that they give them a uh, license to be who they are and to feel acceptable like this gender inclusively shit you know what i'm saying and it puts men like myself and men that's actually striving to be something it puts us at the back of the bus so to speak we're totally overlooked because one thing about this world, they don't like masculine males. So everybody really wanted to be on my team outside of three people. And he was looking like, oh. And the supervisor was even looking like, because the supervisor, she's a nigga woman, of course. And she was looking like, damn, like everybody do. And she was trying so bad to put people like that on my team. And everybody's like, nah, we cool. We're, you know, we're, we're bro, we cool with him. We're, we'll do it. You know, we'll be on his team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they know. But she was trying so, because she was even looking like, well, that's a strong team. We want to mix things up. I said, Bridge, no, we're not, we not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, we're not doing that. We cool with the team we got. You know, don't try to put me up with nobody that I don't mesh well with. You're asking, that's a recipe for disaster because what they're doing is trying to passively, aggressive force you into a role and, and make you accept something that your spirit is totally averse to. And I'll walk away from this shit before I allow them to do that. So I just wanted to put that out there. But th th this is the folly of Babylon, all right? So let's get a couple of precepts, man. And all that would be handled if the woman just fell in order and they allowed their man to rule over them. The problem is they're not dealing with one consistent man, getting one persistent rod, and being ruled over by their men. You know, instead they want to live the hot girl life, the hot girl summer. They want to go to Dubai. They want to drive these. You know, women want to drive fucking Hellcats and shit. Charges and and, and and Maseratis and Maybachs and shit. They want to be like men. And they're realizing that that's not in their nature to do so. So they're bugging out. But this is the book of Genesis 3 and 16. And it says here, Now to the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. Okay? And they're in sorrow now. And thy conception. Because you have pain in birth. But overall, the woman, she's a mad, she's a mad man in the earth. Okay, when you look at the average woman, they literally walk around like they got a chip on their shoulder and they walk around like they can beat your ass. Their lips are poked out, they, they're proud, they're haughty, they talk shit, they're hopping men face. But the minute you buck up and put hands on one of them, then all of a sudden 911 is beating at your door. You know, just you women are not strong, you're not meant to be strong, nor are you independent. Okay, you are meant to be ruled over and you were meant to be with one man your entire life. I don't give a damn what society tells you. Clearly, society has been lying to you because the role you've been put on, it put in is not working for you. You know? But it says, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. And in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire should be to thy husband, and he should rule over thee. Yeah, and that was actually a whole thing. So if you don't understand the definition of help me, okay, yeah, Eve was a help me to Adam, but also he was still the head. Because a hey, woman means servant. Wife means woman, which means servant. So you women are created to be put in a subservient role to, 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 to serve men or serve the man you with. And you get pleasure out of that. Okay, most of these podcasts that you see of the manosphere and the woman that's agreeing with these red pill guys, a lot of these women are in a feminine role and they're happy with it. You know, but yet you got young women or older women teaching the young women, oh, nah, don't, don't settle down one man. Make sure you go out there and live your life. Go to college. Have fun, get you a career, and then you settle down when you already fucking rotted out by 50, 60 different men. Now you got to settle down with some sucker, and he's supposed to give you the dream life. He's supposed to give you three kids, a white picket fence, three cars in a driveway, and he need to be making 300 k a year. But the only thing you can bring to the table is $41,000 a year and 60, 70 rides later with three other niggas' kids. There's, there's that. We don't have a lot of options, man. 
Like sometime I would do, I would do research. I would go through like particular dating sites and I would look at the at the option poll. When I look at these profiles, I'll just shake my head. I'm like, I said, you hoes ain't going to never get a real man <laughs> with these profiles. Not a man that's in his right mind anyway. I wouldn't dare to think to date a woman that for one thing, when you read the profiles, they're so negative. They're so masculine. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a BBW. I'm a single woman with three kids. If you don't like it, move around type shit. And I'm looking in the back of my mind. I'm like, I'm like, these bitches are fucking delusional. I said, for one thing, if you even looking to land any kind of man, for one thing, you need to change your approach. Okay, even if you may have one or two kids by a different man or something like that, if you show some type of femininity and some type of humility about yourself and not so much aggression, maybe a man may take a chance on you. Here we're telling you exactly what the problem is as to why you cannot find happiness in your marriages or find a decent man that would take you serious. We're telling you, but you're not listening to us. Jake is telling you, but you don't listen to us. So you have to hear it from other women. Check your attitude, sis. Check your spirit. Do this, that. Make sure you're doing this. You know? They're telling you the same thing we're telling you, but, but our words are not good enough. So this is why you single, miserable, broke, kids, a man that don't want to deal with you consistently. I mean, these profiles, is just, they're nuts, man. Crazy. I mean, these big 300-pound women talking that shit because they know that some simple, some simpleton is going, he's going, he's like, okay, I'm cool with that. Okay, baby, you're right. You are the, you are the dime. You are the possession. That's why this place needs to be purged, man, because the, the priorities are totally upside down. But reading this in a, a New Living Testament, it says, And then he said to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy, and in pain you will give birth, and your desire, <laughs> and you would desire to control your husband, but he rule over you. Yeah, because they desire to control us now. You know, I've seen many women break up relationships or cause problems and friction in relationship, all because a man can have another woman, according to the scriptures. I mean, I've seen women walk away and be put away for shit like that. Shit so stupid. Walk away from your salvation all because the Bible gives it lawfully for a man to have another woman. But these are the same motherfuckers that claim they believe in you. How about you? How was shy? But wait a minute. He put in the Bible that a man can take on another wife if he so chooses, right? But then they try to find loopholes around. Oh, that can't be right. Nah, nah, nah. They got to find a loophole in that. But what about when this and then? And nah, nah, no. Nah, the scriptures is plain. If a man needs to take on another wife for whatever reason, he can do so. If you can't agree with it, then so be it. You keep it moving. We're not dealing with that madness, man. And you women that dealt with the prophets, hey, you're going to have to understand. You're going to have to come into a time that your husband, this man and Lord, he will have other women. We're coming into those times, Isaiah 4 and 1. And if you can't give the program, then you're just going to die. And most of you, cool, but you'd rather die before you allow your husband to take on another wife to help you all situation out. You'd rather die for that. And that's a, that's why I say Jake died for dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? One only thing you got to do is fall in fucking line and do your role and contribute to the success of this goddamn, of this of this shit, man. Then it's, it's going to thrive, man. But instead, pride comes in and this is the result of it. You have a bunch of cackling baboons in the woods beating sticks against, st sticks against rocks. All because they can't control their aggression because they have no control. Proverbs 14 and 29. Uh, he that is slow to wrath and is, is of great understanding. Yeah, women don't have understanding. This is why they're so abrasive. And I'm noticing that a lot of men, even a lot of us that came up, we, we took hold on this aggression because we was around our mothers, around our grandmothers, our sisters and shit. And you don't understand that until you come into the truth. Okay, the scripture says, self answer turns away wrath. We were taught that being an aggressive male makes you a man, but that's not true. Now, there is a time to be aggressive when it's time to turn up when you are in a defense mode and you're actually out there going toe to toe or striving with another man, then you got to get aggressive. That's when that aggression and that adrenaline comes out. But you ain't got to get aggressive with everybody because they cut you off in the middle of traffic. Though that shit is annoying as fuck and it do make you want to slap the hell out of somebody. I will admit that because people just do think they just do things for no reason. It is angering, but overall, because somebody look at you wrong, you ain't got to have that. That fairy spirit. Fuck you looking at, nigga. You ain't got to have that spirit on you, man. Because hey, he he could think you... I mean, the dude might not be wrapped tight. He can... he, he can you, you can make it look like somebody he know. 
You may have put him in a mindset of somebody, you know what I'm saying? It could be anything. Sometimes he cannot even be looking at you, just be looking at you. Like I've caught myself staring at people, not even noticing that I'm just staring at them. It's just like you kind of black out. So it's always different scenarios, you know. But it says, but he that is hasty in spirit exalted folly. And this is folly right here. $4,000 for anger management program. They, the anger, anger management program would be for them to find a husband and submit to and get the rod. Okay. <laughs> the rod of correction. That'll that 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 calm their ass down. Of course, you got a fucking feminist. Uh, in retrospect, they all just need to be beat up. They just they get beat up. That I humble that shit because like you you end up beating up a woman. She calms down. She don't call the police on you first. You go upside her head a couple of times, which I'm not telling you, brother, to do that shit. But every woman, you know, what I'm saying that had of cross with some type of physical encounter with men, and men actually put their ass in place. A lot of times they humble the fuck down, but them demons come back on them, you know, to retaliate against you and get you locked up. But anyway, this is uh. Sirach 26, and I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, a loud crying woman and a scold should be sought out to drive away the enemy. So a lot of times, you know, that 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 piercing scream that they do, that was that's a, de that's a defense mechanism for women because it was known that women were pretty much, uh, I won't say completely helpless, but they were the weaker vessel. Okay, it's not known for a woman to really overcome a man in battle, especially when somebody got... 50, 60 pounds over and you got 80% bone density over her. You can easily overcome her. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that Clarissa Shields and uh, Layla Ali shit fool you. I mean, they were trained in boxing, but overall they're still women and they can still be knocked out. Okay? So don't let all that crazy shit fool you, man. They're still women and they're still very insecure. And they're little girls inside, man. I mean, period. They're just, they're just, they're just, they're little girls. And that come from being able to guide a broad, okay? Sirach 25, 24 says, Of the woman came in the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither wicked woman liberty to guide abroad. Right, and this is the cause of them guiding abroad. So when you allow them to guide abroad, which the word guide in Hebrew means troop, and what does troop do? They march up and down the road. So when you allow these women to march and go here and there, they get themselves into things that's inconvenient. And they bring all types of inconvenience to their lives and destruction to their lives. And everybody else has to pay for it, including the children. You know, um, Sirach 25 and 16, it says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with the wicked woman. Yeah, because a lion is a fierce creature, man. A lion is very aggressive when need to be. And a dragon has no remorse. OK, and these women come in a spirit of dragon, especially Keisha. Like I was outside two days ago. I did the lesson. This little girl, black as night with this red lace front in. I mean, I mean, like literally you can spot her out of a lineup because she's that black with red on. Right. So she was out there. She couldn't be no more than 13, 14, maybe 14, 15 at the most. A little high school, a little black skinny chick. So she was out there. I guess she was cursing some grown woman out, calling her bitches and this and this and that. Well, the bam this and I mean she was just going nuts, just aggressive, man, for no reason. I'm like, the fuck are you so angry about? Like you 15 years old, like you have no responsibility, you have no bills. Only thing you gotta do is go to school and bring your ass home and pass your classes. Okay, get a job if you want to, bring in your own money, you know, save up, whatever you gotta do, get you a car, whatever, you know. But yet they're so aggressive, they're so filled with hate and animosity because they've been misguided. Okay, when you have Kardashians, when you have uh, Housewives of Atlanta, when you have reality, I call them unreality shows. When you have uh, fucking things like The View, you have Taylor Swift, you have all these feminist ideologies that's being programmed into these people's mindset. They literally adopt the spirit of these particular, it's all witchcraft. And then they take them out on people when they're real life, not understanding how in a deluded state they are. It's just like, wow, the delusion is so fucking real. You know, and it says, in the wickedness of a woman changing her faith, face and darkening her countenance like sackcloth. Okay, and that's the point. That bipolarism. Okay, like one minute, you know, she's cool. Next minute, she's flipping up and down. Totally bipolar. And that come from all them spirits being in these women. 
Okay, the more bugged out the woman is, the probably the more men she dealt with. You know, women that can't seem to catch their footing. They're overly emotional, which, you know, they are emotional. I admit that. But they have to be ruled over. Period. Okay, I don't give a damn how independent you claim to be. You a woman, you need to be ruled over. Point blank, period. Because you are incapable of governing yourselves and making any sound decisions. And most of you know that. Okay. But anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor as due to how by Shimmy, how shy by Shimon Kakwadash. Lord's will you edify into the next lesson. Shalom. Esau has set you women up for failure and y'all finna find that out the hard.